Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Node.js to the database, which is MongoDB. In order to connect uh, Node.js to MongoDB, you need to use the package name Mongoose. Let's go to npmjs.com and search for Mongoose. Here is the package. Here how you can install it. Just copy it and you have to stop your server and paste this over here then let me run npm run dev again okay what is the next step so you need to use this code to connect to the database first of all you to include this one to your project in create a variable mongoose and then you can use mongoose to connect to mongodb by using connection string over here all right let's go to mongodb mongodb okay let's uh, sign right here i'm going to sign with my account okay let me create new account submit all policy and click on submit okay what we can do over here we just build a new application or learn about mongodb it's fine okay over here prefer language javascript finish uh, let's click on i will do this later and then you just click on build a database and then create free version over here i pick amazon and virginia because i live nearby custer you can name is whatever you want i can name is uh Deptamin, api something like this and then, then click on create uh you can create a new user over here i will create root user or admin and password you can put whatever you want okay let's create a user we have a user over here and then for IP you can put 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 something like this anyone can access for description you can put whatever you want description add entry okay and then click finish and close go to database close right now and you have to wait a few minutes until it's finished create a database for you also make sure you check uh, network access over here make sure your IP address is similar to this because we want to access to the database from our local host okay let's go back to database and then you will see something like this and then you click on connect we want to connect it with our application just click over here mongodb support many languages over here we need a driver for node.js and the version it can be 4.1 and then just copy this one and then let's take a look at the code the code that we need is over here we need to create mongoose variable all right let me create con mongoose equal to require mongoose okay and next we just uh, over here we just put mongoose dot connect and inside the parenthesis you put uh, URI what is UI URI is this one okay just copy it and put this over here okay my username is admin my password is one two three four five six admin and then what else you have to put over here is collection name that you want to create you can put a collection name over here for example i will put uh, node api something like this you can name it whatever you want and what else and after you connect is here we can make a new line i can put then 
when we connect to the database, I want it to show some message on terminal. Console log connected to MongoDB, okay? And if there is an error, we want to show the error out. callback function over here and then just console log error so this error we get from this one okay save it over here authenticate did fail I think I put the wrong password so I'm going to fix it so let me check it out let me go to database access let me edit password over here because I can't remember password exactly. Okay, let me put a new password over here. Okay, let me update user password. Let me change a password right here. If you put a correct password, it won't have a problem. Save. We successfully connect to the database. You will see the message over here. Connect to MongoDB here, okay? Actually, we want our application to connect to the database first before it's running. So we can move app.listen over here into uh, then over here. Okay, we save it. Then you will see that it's connect to the MongoDB first. I move this up here. And then it's start our application. Okay, this is the right way to connect to the database. You can just remove this one if you don't want it, but I'm going to leave it over there. And if you don't want it to show Mongoose strict QLE option over here, you can put it to be false. Let me show you how to do it. You can put this like this, mongoose.set, set what strict QLE just set it to be false save it then you won't see this message okay and you will see only connect to database then node.js application is running on port 3000 all right this is how you connect node.js to mongodb or to database if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and comment down below thank you so much for watching